I'd like to say I don't limit myself when I'm, when I'm creating in, in terms of not pursuing something because of difficulty or because I think that it's not worth the effort. Ultimately, I come up with the concept that I want to pursue and then do whatever it takes to, to follow through with that. That's what we do at, at Alinea is we're constantly pursuing something new. My role as executive chef requires me to have a large amount of influence on the menu. You know, so many times I'll write a dish out, you know, and in my, in my mind it's amazing. It's just a great dish. And then as, as I put it down on, on the plate, it's, it's a disaster. Um, and I've been doing this for a long time. I know for sure I'm very hard on myself, but I think it's natural to be extremely hard on yourself when you're pursuing the best that you can be. And in doing that, it takes discipline and it takes being hard on yourself in order to grow. You know, if, if I was complacent or if I was happy with everything that I did, I would either be way too egotistical or I'd be lying to myself. The most important part about being a chef, in my opinion, is understanding the ingredient and what it's capable of, the natural chemistry of every given product, because it varies incredibly. See, people use the word manipulation a lot. In my opinion, manipulating food doesn't mean touching it a thousand times or doing something that doesn't need to be done to it. When I manipulate food, I do it because I'm understanding what it's capable of, and I'm not necessarily doing a lot to it. I'm just creating maybe a texture or a technique with that ingredient that is uncommon. The dish that I'm most proud of would be the balloon. I think it was a step forward in cuisine that I can say, okay, this actually is something that hadn't been done before. Creating floating food has always just been on the to-do list for, for avant-garde chefs, in my opinion. It actually happened when we had extra helium tanks laying around for a party that we did, and I used that opportunity to create. I figured the best way to do it would be with sugar, and I wanted to create something that was elegant and simple and realistic, you know? Once I came close, then I knew, then it was on, game on. And then I just, then I went for it and, and, and it worked itself out. I won't use the word masterpiece. OTM is a Latin abstract term for something that you do in your leisure. So it could be eating, drinking wine, even academic endeavors. So I think that really fits with what we want to do with the restaurant.